after transplant due to your anti-rejection medications, um, there is a higher risk of certain infections. To try and prevent these infections, we vaccinate you as much as possible before your transplant. Um, so for example, many of you will remember having the hepatitis B vaccines on dialysis. Um, but there are several vaccines that we also need to administer after your transplant. Um, the main one is your annual flu vaccine. And it's important that you and your close contacts and household um, members get the flu vaccine every year. Uh, the flu vaccine changes every year based on the common flu strains. And that's why it's important to get it every year and not just a once off. Um, the vaccine itself isn't a live vaccine and doesn't cause flu. Um, but flu itself can be very harmful in a transplant patient and prevention is definitely better, better than cure there. Um, with regard to other vaccines, um, we recommend that transplant patients don't get live vaccines as these can cause um, infection. And so um, it's important to check before you get a vaccine if it's a live vaccine or not. If you're traveling, there may be certain vaccines which you require. Um, there's an excellent website called the CDC website, the Center for Disease Control. And this lists out all vaccines that you require depending on what area you're going to. And if you um, input that you're a transplant patient, they will tell you which ones are safe for you to get and which ones are live and therefore not safe for you to get.